Hello and welcome from the Jesuit Schools Network Conference Office. I'm Julia Andretta. I am the JSN's Communications Coordinator, and I am joined today by Father Bob Reiser, the JSN's new Executive Director. How are you doing today, Bob? Good morning, Julia. How are you? Uh, I'm doing well. Uh, finally getting a little uh, nice weather here in May. And oh, excellent. Into the, coming to the end of the school year for our schools, and so I'm sure um, people are doing well, and, and it's great to be with you this morning. Thank you. Thank you. I'm doing well as well. And yeah, the weather is beautiful here in D.C. So that's that's a definite lift to the spirits. Uh, well, it's good to be here with you as well. It's great to hear. Um, Bob, I thought today that we could have a brief conversation. Uh, so to give you an opportunity to introduce yourself to folks in the network who may not know you uh, and also talk a little bit about the experiences that have led you uh, to joining us here at the JSN central office and what your plans and goals are now that you're here. So I know you introduced yourself a little bit in the 50th anniversary interview we did uh, last year, which I will link in the description below. But for those who may not know you and who may not have watched that previous interview, uh, just give us a brief introduction and tell us a little bit about yourself and the experiences that have led you to this position. Well, thanks, Julia. I, I appreciate this opportunity. Uh, uh, to meet or for uh, to enable the the network to meet me. Um, and I do look forward to meeting uh, the members of the network, our network schools in person at various events and and at school visits and in, in other ways. So I look forward to our, our meeting one another in person. Before this though, Julia, you know, I uh, I entered the Jesuits in 19. 86. Um, and a huge part of the reason that I entered the Jesuits, that I wanted to be a Jesuit, was because of my experience in high school. Uh, I'm originally from Buffalo, and I went to a Jesuit high school, Canisius High School, uh, there. And, you know, I just experienced a sense of community that a high school uh, or a school community can can um, uh, give to uh, to you know a, a teenager at the time. I also saw Jesuits who were really kind of happy and and engaged in the mission. I thought, well, you know, I, I'd love to be a Jesuit, and then I'd love to work in a high school. And yes. so it just emerged uh, from there. Um, and so I've taught uh, in in Jesuit schools, and I have been in administration in, in Jesuit schools. Um, when I, as I start as executive director, I'm starting my 22nd year in, in Jesuit education. Um, for a brief stint, I was vocation director for uh, the Society of Jesus. But the fundamental focus has been in whether teaching or in leadership in, in Jesuit schools. Um, I most recently came from McQuaid Jesuit in Rochester, and before that, I was at St. Peter's Prep in Jersey City. Uh, and then I had a brief stint at Canisius High School as campus minister and teacher. So um, my experience apostolically as a Jesuit has been primarily in, in secondary ed. I think the other thing that brings me here today also had, was an experience of the former JSCA as we transitioned to the JSN. You know, I was on the board of directors of the JSEA uh, at the time of the transition. And um, so I have just tremendous affection and regard for the work of the JSEA and then the anticipation and then the realization of the JSN uh, and the good work that is being done um, really kind of draw me here. So I, I would say the two things, my own experience uh, in the classroom and in, and in, a, in, in an office uh, administration in school, but then also that, 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 that draw to the work of the JSEA and the JSN um, are very attractive to me. Next, I want to talk about what about um, Jesuit education and this position are you the most excited or passionate about? What would you say most motivates you? Um, to to do what you are doing now in service to Jesuit education. Well, you know, Julia, I, I, I and as we have been speaking, I mm -hmm. truly, truly 
believe in the value of Jesuit education. I have experience from a high school perspective, but you know, in North America, we deliver Jesuit education under three models, um, Nativity Middle Schools, Crystal Ray High Schools, and Jesuit Middle Schools and High Schools, uh, with which I have been most affiliated. But those three models each contribute you know, we, we have 55,000 students um, within the life of the Jesuit schools network under those uh, three models. And what I look forward to doing is serving the, the needs um, of, those, of those efforts um, uh, throughout North America and then also globally, you know, because we have so many global relationships. Um, as I've been listening to our constituents um, within the network uh, of our member schools, I have heard you know, just the value that the JSN provides in offering resources uh, for schools, um, also connecting relationships, which lead to a companionship and colleagueship, but also sharing of best practices so I, I think resourcing and relationships uh, and fostering those so that this important ministry under three models can really be efficacious in, in whatever way uh, that, that, is, that is needed. Um, so I have a real sense of support of the ministry that each of our schools is engaged in. And you know, as I look at the, the next couple of years, I think that's those are the lenses. You know, when, when I was uh, applying for the position, uh, I think one of the interviewers asked me that. And and the thing that I, I, I responded with, and I truly believe, is that we are a member organization. Everything we do is geared toward the members and the needs. Um, and aspirations and the mission, if you think about it, is probably a better word, uh, supporting the mission of the member schools. And that can be in very specific ways. Uh, it can also be in, 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 in larger ways. And I think we do that. And we, we have a wonderful tradition of doing that at the JSN. And, and I'd like to, to move forward with that. So what, you know, what excites me about the JSN is supporting the ministry of the member schools to these 55,000 kids and then, and everything that's connected uh, to that. When we, when we were um, in the process of transitioning from JSEA to JSN, you know, that network, that network word was so important, you know, that, that we are a network of networks. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we have the province networks, uh, we have the North American network of networks, and then if you think about it, a school has so many networks with which it, it, it works, you know, both mm -hmm. formal and informal. So that sense of networks of networks. And one of the things I've learned over the last couple of weeks is also uh, about the global, the global network, um, you know, that we, that we have throughout, you know, the world of, of Jesuit education. And um, I, I'm interested in learning more about that and growing more into that sense of this, this uh, uh, global society of Jesus and how our network of networks kind of collaborates with the global network of networks. So my next um, related, but related, but slightly different question um, is about your goals. Um, what goals are you most wanting to accomplish in your work? And so this question, these can be goals that are specific to the executive director role, but these can also be more general goals that you hold personally uh, for the work that you do. No, um, I'm, I am inclined toward a process. Uh, no, 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 I shouldn't say that. Um, <laughs> I look forward to process. I, I'm inclined to action. And I have learned through the years, both through my own life as a Jesuit and Ignatian spirituality, but also in leadership in, in institutions, in schools, that as much as it would be great to act, 
and to come in and say, you know, we're going to do these five things and the entire world is going to be great. Uh, it doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have heard recently, um, Mike Johannick is a member of one of our groups, Mike's at the University of Pennsylvania. And he said, if you really want to lead an organization, you have to know it intimately. And you do that by listening, listening to people. So one of my goals is to, to be honest with you, Julia, is really to listen um, and also to help us as a JSN conference team, but, but also us as a network to listen. And, and I think the Ignatian term is discern. You know, if you think about it, for example, the great tool of the IPP is really all based in Ignatian spirituality of, of discernment. You know, we look, we understand the, the context, we reflect on it, we act on it, and then we review, and then, you know, we keep moving. So um, one of my goals <laughs> is to really stay focused on that discerning leadership, that that process, that listening. And I've enjoyed uh, in the past month, you know, I, I think I'm going to hit maybe 75 Zoom conferences with <laughs> members of our of our of our network, uh, just simply listening. And you know, Julia, what's interesting is, is is when you listen like that, all of a sudden themes start coming up. And so what I would like to do is listen to, you know, certainly to meet people. We have a wonderful network of schools, but also to to actively listen and identify themes that emerge, then those become, you know, your goal. We are in, uh, I think Pope Francis would call it an, um, a moment of, of um, epic change within our world. And if you think about it, the context of epic change that we're in, Pope Francis calls us into those, those two things discernment that leads to action. And we at the JSN have that discerning heart that leads to action, leadership, mission, global research. And um, in this moment of epoch, uh, uh, this epic change that our schools are experiencing, I hope that that same attitude from us can respond to what they're experiencing. You know. I always thought when you open the front door of a school, the entire world comes walking in every morning and our our teachers, staff, administrators, all of them need to be experts in, you know, this thing and then it's that thing and then it's this thing. And, and oh, my gosh, all the things that they that they deal with are tremendous. If we can be discerning leaders. Who have resources and relationships. Hopefully we can be a help uh, to people. So, so I think those those are my two kind of foci um, as I think about it. Um, discerning that leads to action. So those were all of my formal questions that I had prepared. Um, but I do want to ask if there's anything else that you think it is important for the member schools and for other uh, partners of the network to know about you or anything you want to leave us with. Uh, before we sign off here, you know, I, I would hope, uh, uh, Julia, that when we're when we're on the other side of COVID uh, mm -hmm. and the and the restrictions that are associated with COVID, that you know, as we start opening up, uh, we have really exciting programming that we're planning for next year and beyond. We have the um, North American Colloquium, the JSN Colloquium on the horizon, but we've got other things between now and then. Um, in addition, uh, I, I, I look forward to uh, getting out to and visiting schools. Um, so the so the first thing is I I really just look forward to to engaging with people, to meeting people, to knowing your communities, and and you know the 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 lights and the shadows that that you that you experience. So. You know, I look forward to that. The second thing is I am aware of the grace that the Ministry of Education, uh, pre-secondary and secondary education, 
um, brings forth I- I- into the world. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, grace is always mixed with nature. And mm-hmm. so it, it's <laughs> it's never a free ride. It, it's never cheap grace. But I, I am very, very much aware of the grace that is this that that exists, that permeates. Um, you know, we're promised from God that God does not limit the gift of the Holy Spirit, you know, as we as we look toward Pentecost these days. Um, I'm very aware that that is what's happening in the life of a school, that add mixture of grace and nature. <laughs> Unfortunately, nature gives us gray hair, uh, but grace, <laughs> grace gives us hope. And to be very specific on that, Julia, mm-hmm. I am very, very aware of the precious nature of the Jesuit Secondary Education Association and now the Jesuit Schools Network that I am, you know, entering into and playing some some role. And that's organizations, but it's also people. One of the things, you know, that that I've been doing is going through the office and, you know, you you always find pictures of the past uh, and just an awareness of of God's goodness to us in North America. through through our our gift of the JSCA and now now the JSN and you know just one final word you know I'm very grateful to Bill Muller as he heads off to uh, Phoenix uh, off to Brophy in his new role as the vice president for mission advancement I'm I'm very aware of his contributions and I am grateful for them uh, and one of which is developing a great team that uh, that I've met. Um, but also, you know, transitioning from the JSCA to the JSN was no light lifting exercise. And so I'm grateful to Bill and aware that I'm stepping into those shoes as I, I go forward. So I'm excited, but I'm also super aware of the precious nature and the gratitude that I have for that as I move forward. Absolutely. Well, I'm sure that I speak not just for myself, but for the whole network when I say I'm looking forward to working with you. Um, as, as the years continue. Uh, thank you so much for speaking with me today, for taking this time to uh, give, give us a sense of who Bob Reiser is and <laughs> what, what we can all, what we can all, um, what we can all anticipate and look forward to. Thank you so much for your time. And I, I hope you enjoy the rest of your, your day. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. Thanks for your for your work. Um, And I I look forward to, to working with you and with the team and with the schools as well. Thank you.